Okay, masyado ka naman maraming achievements sa life at ang dami-dami mo nang nakakabit sa pangalan mo. Paano nga ba ito ay sulot ng tama? Ito yung ating alamin. So hello mga kapatid, makikisuyo lang, pakipindot yung subscribe button, pati yung bell button para lang updated ka sa mga videos na lalabas from this channel. So designations, paano nga ba isulat ang mga ito? Siguro unahin ko na yung dito sa practice dito sa US as a physical therapist kasi may guideline na yung American Physical Therapy Association or yung APTA. So naglabas ang APTA House of Delegates ng position Uh, tungkol dito sa mga acceptable and appropriate designations. Uh, ito ay for public awareness and public protection and consumer um, transparency. Ito ay para hindi malito yung mga nakakakita ng mga designations or yung mga nakakabit sa pangalan ng mga physical therapist. The position supports five abbreviated um, designations for a physical therapist. So yung una, PT or PTA, physical therapist or physical therapist assistant. Etong una yung uh, this is the only mandatory designation. The other designations are purely optional. Pero tingnan natin, tingnan pa rin natin yung mga susunod. So yung pangalawa would be your the second one would be your highest academic physical therapy related degree. These are your MPT, MSPT, Uh, ano pa ba? DPT and BSPT. Next is other regulatory other regulatory designations meaning other government licenses. So, pwedeng RN kung registered nurse ka din. If you're an uh, LMT, uh, licensed massage therapist, licensed, uh, no, licensed medical social worker, LMSW. Or, if you're like an ATC, uh, athletic trainer, uh, other government Uh, licenses. The fourth one is your academic degree that is not, you know, physical therapy related. Ito yung mga MS, MSc, PhD, DSC, PT, MBA, MPH. So lastly, this is very, very, the very optional one is if you're a fellow of the American Physical Therapy Association, so FAPTA. So itong limang, limang designations, limang abbreviated designations lang ang accepted for use by the American Physical Therapy Associations. Also, may makikita kayo mga abbreviated designations that end with CS. So like GCS, OCS, and CS. Ito ay mga specialty certifications awarded by the American Board of Physical Therapy Specialists. Yeah, as I've mentioned, GCS for Geriatric Clinical Specialist, OCS, Orthopedic Clinical Specialist, is CS Sports, uh, PCS, Pedia, and you know WCS for women's health these abbreviations are no longer accepted by APTA uh, because they want to increase awareness and the value of the specialties kaya they they want or APTA wants to spell out the certifications so magiging board certified clinical specialist in geriatric physical therapy in GCS or pwede ring board certified geriatric clinical specialist para you know uh, para magkano din to increase awareness nga para hindi malilito yung mga nakakabasa na this person has achieved you know uh, a, a specialty in his career okay so paano naman yung mga ano na mga kahaba-haba ng mga name na kakabit ng mga certifications i mean certifications are only good if ni- if people know about it and if they recognize it like your your COMT, CNMT, CDP, CKTP, etc. etc. Kung trip nyo, uh, I mean, ikabit nyo lang, di ba? Uh, pero yung top five lang na abbreviated uh, uh, designations are for, you know, formal APTA uh, materials. Pero all other certifications are are free for all pag ikakabit mo sa ikakabit mo sa mga promotional materials mo in your business that's okay uh, let's use mine as a, an example imagine na natin na uh, i graduated already with my doctor of physical therapy degree and i renewed my certification for dementia practice okay imagine din na pero sa totoo hindi pa ako graduate ng DPT ko at hindi ko na renew yung CDP ko yung dementia practitioner ko So, yung ano na pa, PT, DPT, 
MSGCS CDP. So napakaba, di ba? So that's not acceptable or appropriate for um, in terms of uh, APTA standards. So to to shorten up, the correct way is Johan de la Paz PT DPT MS. So, so that's more accepted. Yun ang uh, magiging gamit ko. That's for short version, short listings. Pero if there's room, uh, like for example, you know, emails, letters, business cards, I can write Johan de la Paz PT DPT MS, board certified clinical specialist in geriatric physical therapy and certified dementia practitioner. So ngayon, um, puntahan naman natin yung sa Philippines. Wala akong makitang guideline so, dun sa, dun sa uh, internet search ko. Wala akong makitang guideline on how to use designations. So ito lang, ito lang yung um, observation ko, I guess. Um, kadalasan, mapapansin mo yung difference between um, physical therapist in the academe and physical therapist in the clinics. So sa clinics, madali lang kasi madalas they would have their license first right after the name kasi syempre if you're in the f you're in the clinics and you're practicing you want the patients to know that you are licensed so you put the license first then your highest um, academic degree SPT, uh, MBA, MOH or whatever uh, and next one is your next are your um, certifications kung wala ka namang highest degree so kung BS yung natapos mo then you follow the PTRP with your certifications UMT, CNT, so whatever C there is. Pag nasa akadin naman, um, ang napapansin ko, after the, their names would be your their highest academic degree. Siyempre, if you're working in uh, the academy, mas gagustuhin mo kadikit na kadikit ng name mo yung highest academic degree mo. Uh, siguro, the idea there is pag maputol man yung um, all your designations, the highest would be the one left, you know. So, PhDs, MSPTs, MPTs, uh, DRPH, you know, other the other doctorate. Uh, for example, Juan de la Cruz, MSPT. Then some people would also write their licenses, their PTRPs. Uh, I think ngayon naman kasi, if you're working in an academe, you should also be licensed in your profession. I think. So, paano naman kung nasa Philippines ka, pero you have a US license? Isusulad mo pa ba yung PT at the, the, the end of your name? Um, for me, wala namang kaso yun. If you graduate from your um, transitional doctor of physical therapy program, uh, you earn your DPT, ilagay mo lang yun. Because uh, that's, a, a, that's a professional degree, that's a clinical degree. You know, uh, you've earned that, you achieved that, so put it there. But if you're in the Philippines, I suggest that if there's space, like in the letters or emails, or business cards, you spell that out. Put there your name, for example, Juan de la Cruz, PTRP. Then you follow it up with Doctor of Physical Therapy. Because people don't know in the Philippines, most you know professionals, aside from physical therapists, of course, would not know what DPT means. So it's better for you to spell it out. Para alam nila that you have that degree. And also follow it up with your other certifications. Spell it out as well. If you have CSCS, Certified uh, Strength and Conditioning Specialist, spell it out. Because the, the letters would not have any use if people that you are writing to doesn't know what they mean. Hindi naman sila pupunta sa internet just to search for that. Okay? So yun, ang ending. Sa US, merong guidelines ang APTA about designations. Sa Philippines, wala. It's just best practice. If you're in the academe, syempre, you put your highest degree closer to your name. If you're in the clinics, of course, your license would be first. Uh, pero tulad na sabi ko, certifications are only as good as, you know, as if the, if people know it. If they don't know what that means, it would just be for nothing. Ba? So if you like the video at may natutunan ka, kindly share it uh, to your friends. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you disagree or agree with what I said. Um, I would also attach the link up, uh, to the uh, APTA House of Delegates position on designations para may idea ka where I came out with that uh, with that list. Okay? I would love to know your thoughts as well. So catch the next episode. It's about what to use, PT or RPT.